Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back today with a very quick tutorial on how you can double sleeve your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So the first part of this video is going to be an extremely quick tutorial on how you do it, and then at the end I'll share some insight on things I wish I knew before I got into double sleeving, because I've been doing it for a while with other games. Right off the bat, we have two very comparable rarities, and I want to ask, can you even tell which of these two cards is double sleeved? You can kind of see a little extra shine on area, and you may guess that's correct, but overall, the double sleeving process does not mess with the foil, luster, shine, whatever you want to call it, so in case that was a concern, I wanted to show you that that's not really a big deal. What you will need to do this is any normal Japanese style card sleeve, so the smaller Yu-Gi-Oh size, I'm using these dragon shields here in today's case, and then if you follow the link down below, ask your card shop or otherwise acquire these KMC perfect mini sleeves with these dimensions, you're good to go. Dragon Shield I know has the standard size, but I don't know of them having Yu-Gi-Oh size, so do tread with caution. I know these for a fact will work, and they actually come with instructions if you follow this, you basically have the first part of this video tutorial covered. What we're going to do is make sure, first of all, the point of doing this is to get rid of debris and moisture from touching your card. But if you already have dust and dirt on your hands, mat or sleeves, that's not going to do anything. So clean off all that stuff first. Seriously, if dust is everywhere, like in my house, make sure your mat is clean. Then you're basically going to go ahead and take the opening of your inner sleeve, the perfect fit, and place it on the top of your card and push it all the way through. And what that does is it creates a solid seal here at the top edge of your card, which then if you imagine you take the now bottom open part into the regular Japanese style sleeve you have, and now we have an edge on the inside at the top and an edge at the bottom. So unless dirt got in there initially, you'd have to have it go all the way down to the bottom and then back up. This also creates a pretty strong watertight seal so that moisture is not a problem. And even if someone spilled a drink on here, you may ruin your mat and you may have to switch your outer sleeve, but hopefully it won't get all the way in to the card. Now I mentioned I've been doing this for a while and it was specifically with Vice Schwartz and recently I started with Pokemon as well. Here on the left side I have a card that is double sleeved. On the right here I have a card in a perfect fit in a character design sleeve with artwork I wanted to keep preserved and actually a third over sleeve on top of that. If you want to do something like this, Yu-Gi-Oh currently only allows you to double sleeve so you'd have to use your regular Japanese size sleeve and then an over sleeve on top of it. Those I don't have experience with with Yu-Gi-Oh size, so you may have to look online for another tutorial. However, I do know that it is possible. Some interesting caveats I have regarding double sleeving. First thing would be how to handle your cards. I already mentioned, you know, make sure you get dust off of everything on your main working surface and uh, make sure if you make this a longer project that takes longer than a day, be sure to go and clean everything off in between there. Don't leave stuff out because it could very well collect dust just from your air ducts and whatever in your house. But one big thing is when you're first placing the card into here, I may not have done it, but at least when you're starting off, I recommend using two fingers on the corners here, very gently pressed down as you place into the sleeve. And what that does is regardless of how thin your card is, maybe it's an ultimate rare and it's flimsy, or how tight the sleeve is because sometimes they do vary ever so slightly. You won't risk catching the card on there and bending it because it really, really can suck if you accidentally damage your card along the way. In a similar vein, because there is slight variance in your sleeves on the outside and inside, Side, make sure when you're placing the card in here, you very carefully line them up, and two fingers might be a good way to get that all the way down. Or with Yu-Gi-Oh, I find since the cards are smaller, if you can fit your finger through here, you can actually kind of grab it from about a third of the way down the card and slide it all the way down. That helps make sure that the card does not shift within the inner sleeve as you're making it all the way down. If you're doing that a ton, especially in the winter, be careful about accidentally, you know, dinging your finger at the nail bed over time doing this. That's something that doesn't happen after you do one or two cards, but if you're doing a thousand cards or more like I've been doing, you can really ding up your fingers. So in that sense, maybe make sure you don't go all the way down. This may look like a random trivial cosmetic thing, but anyone who's handled as many cards as I have in such a short amount of time can attest to the fact that it can really hurt your finger if you end up not taking care of it beforehand. 
Another quick tip I have deals with the air in these cards. Obviously, you can see that there is a bit of bubbling within here, and there is a very quick fix for that. You'll notice that this actually does make your decks a little bit bigger, and so I want to show first, here is a regular 15 extra plus 40 card main deck for Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm gonna place that sideways here like so. This is before compressing down, just naturally in the room, and you can see that's a lot bigger than the same number of cards on the right side here. The sleeves are different colors because this is just the last stack of cards I have to double sleeve because I've been doing that all week. But effectively what you have here is not too much of a difference. If you turned here, it'd basically be about a centimeter, maybe 15 cards or so. The way I get air out of here is if this is the top side of the card on the left here, I go ahead and place my hand on this side here. You can also just put a book flat on the whole thing and it'll take care of itself. But you know, sometimes you got to do this to fit it in your deck box. So you hold the top card here, that makes sure that all the air shifts to the bottom, which is the opening of that inner sleeve, and then afterwards, by gently pressing down, kind of like an accordion on the right side, you can make sure that your whole thing ends up being a lot flatter, and then now you can see it's maybe like the thickness of 10 sleeved cards, if that, and it's not as much of a huge difference. This can, however, be the difference between whether or not your cards fit into your deck box. If you're doing an oversleeve, as not shown in this video, heck, you might need a totally new deck box overall because the size of the sleeve changed entirely. But even if you're just doing this, you can see how, whereas that's not a problem for most deck boxes, I did notice, for example, with my standard size cards, the Ultimate Guard boulders were a perfect fit for double sleeves, but not for triple sleeves. So you may have to be careful in what you select, and you may have to press down on them to make sure that they can fit snugly into your box. While you're playing, the double sleeving is going to make your cards a lot safer from grime and moisture and all these other things. It even makes them a little more resistant to bending if you're not being stupid with it, but you just want to be extra careful that things don't catch on your deck box or other accessories as you're going through with it, so do take it very nice and slow. In case you were wondering about shuffle feel, I actually like the double sleeving feel more so. What ends up happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! is you'll notice right off the bat, wow, this is a big deck. This is a lot bigger than what I would normally have in this game, but the thing is, these cards are a lot smaller to start off with, and we don't even need to to shuffle our extra deck together with our main deck. Maybe you do so for extravagance or something, but really, you just have to deal with usually a 40-card main deck at a time, maybe 60, but again, most adult hands are going to be able to handle the full-size cards very easily, double-sleeved or not, because they're very small. And what you'll notice is instead of it being flat sleeves that end up pushing against each other like usual, because of the kind of slight bubbling that happens with the double-sleeving, naturally, you end up with a bit more of a triangular shape. So these wedge very cleanly and nicely in between each other so that you don't have to use quite as much force. Generally, if you kind of do this kind of smaller, looser motion pattern in order to try and get them through here, you'll all have a better time shuffling in general. But I just like the feeling of having these double sleeves because it makes things overall easier, I think. In standard size cards, especially with over sleeves, it can be quite cumbersome to handle this many cards and with this size because it's it's just too unwieldy, too large, but with Yu-Gi-Oh, because the cards are much smaller, this becomes not so much of an issue, and again, if anything, it makes things actually a lot easier to shuffle thanks to the newfound shape. Another cool thing about storage with double sleeves is the fact that your cards never really have to get exposed to the environment. Say this tour guide sleeve needs to be changed, your inner sleeve will stay on there the whole time while we get a new sleeve, and then we're able to go ahead and replace this one so that the card never has to leave, it won't get scratches on its beautiful starlight rare or other shiny surface, and you just go ahead and chuck the old sleeve. This also means, let's say you don't want to put Put an outer sleeve on every one of your cards that maybe you want to use but you're not currently using. You could keep all of your main cards that you want to have on standby in your inner sleeve perfect fits and then sleeve the ones that you want to use. That way they can go in your binder, your tins, what other storage solution you may have, and you don't have to waste money on tons and tons of outer sleeves. You just have to have an inner sleeve for each one of your cards. At the end of the day, this is just an option. It's not going to be beneficial to everyone. For example, if you don't particularly have really expensive or shiny cards you want to have,
have like starlight rares, you may not even bother with this. The one sleeve may be enough. You may not want to deal with the difference in shuffle feel, deck size, and all these little nuances that I've come to notice and kind of get accustomed to with these cards. It might just be too much for you and too jarring of a change after nearly 20 years in this game. But in case this was something you wanted to do, hopefully this video was helpful. And if you want more information on double sleeving and card products in general, I strongly recommend the Tolarian Community College YouTube channel that I'll have in the iCard and in the description box below. While the professor mainly focuses on Magic the Gathering and occasionally Pokemon stuff, which you may not even be interested in, I have learned so much from him over the years over inner sleeves, double sleeving, triple sleeving, deck boxes, and so many other things generally about card games. So even though I personally don't play Magic, I have found so much entertainment and value from his stuff. So I think if you like my channel here, you will really love the things he has to offer over there. If you have any questions for me about double sleeving as it pertains to Yu-Gi-Oh, definitely leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to either answer them or point you in the right direction. Thanks guys, this is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys next time. That's it for now, but feel free to grab one of these videos on your way out. If you really enjoyed what you saw today, remember to subscribe to JD Gaming for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks guys, this is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys next time.